This is grade 5, module 4, lesson 9, and in this module, the objective is to find a fraction of a measurement and solve word problems, okay? So we're going to start out with um, the chart for number 1, and it says convert. Show your work using a tape diagram or an equation, and the first one's been done for you. So they showed you the tape diagram over here on this side, and they just did the equation on this side over here, okay? So I'm going to start off by... Um, doing letter C, and it says three fourths of a year is equal to how many months? So uh, three fourths of a year is equal to three fourths times one year. And hopefully the students know three fourths times that one year is the same as 12 months. Okay. So when they do this, 3 fourths times 12 months, they get 36 fourths of a month. And 36 fourths is equal to 9 months. So 3 fourths of a year is equal to 9 months. Okay. So the next one I'm going to do, D, I'm going to use a tape diagram. No, I apologize. I'm, I'm going to use I, I use the um, equation for this one as well. So I have three fifths of a meter is equal to blank centimeters. So I have three fifths of a meter is equal to three fifths times one meter, which is equal to three fifths times one hundred centimeters. Again, they need to know their conversions. Um, there is a reference chart that the students use in class that um, they do have the ability to use at home as well. So they have 3 fifths times 100 centimeters, which is equal to 300 over 5 centimeters, which is also equal to 300 divided by 5 is equal to 60 centimeters. So the conversion there, 3 fifths of a meter is equal to 60 centimeters. Okay, we're going to be doing homework problem number four as well, and it reads, a gardener has 10 pounds of soil. He used 5 eighths of the soil for his garden. How many pounds of soil did he use in the garden, and how many pounds did he have left? So go, let's go ahead and start with the target sentence. So he used blank pounds of soil, and he has blank pounds left. So this one, I'm going to use a tape diagram. I'm going to have, this is my tape, and this is going to represent my 10 pounds of soil, okay? And I'm going to be um, dividing up my tape into eighths. Yeah. <clears throat> and we know that he used five eighths of the soil for his garden, so he used all this. One, two, three, four, five eighths of his garden, or for the soil for his garden, five eighths. And this is what he this is what he had left. So I'll have five eighths left, which is three eighths. Okay? So let's figure out how much that's going to be. So if eight units is equal to ten, that means that one unit is equal to ten eighths or one and two eighths which also can be written as one and one fourth. So if one unit is one and one fourth, five units is going to be one and one fourth plus 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 one and one fourth, which is equal to six and one fourth. Okay? So he used six and one fourth pounds of soil. And now I need to figure out how much he has left. So that would be one and one fourth plus one and one fourth plus one and one fourth, which is equal to three and three fourths. That's what he has left. So I'll put that in my target sentence. And now my answer reads: He used six and one fourth pounds of soil, and he has three and three fourths pounds left. 